Good morning. On behalf of the most on the two smart study team, I'm delighted to our results, which is using most on the two smart monotherapy in patients with relapse refractory follicular lymphoma after at least two prior lines of therapy. Follicular lymphoma is characterized by recurrent relapses, response rate and duration decrease with successive treatment lines. Part 24 and refractory disease associated with poor prognosis is well known. Most of the two SMED is a bispecific antibody recognizing CD3 and CD20, which can engage and redirect T cells to eliminate CD20 positive malignant B cells. It's available off the shelf and is also given fixed, dose, uh, fixed duration treatment. In phase one experience, which demonstrated encouraging efficacy and manageable safety profile in patients with real life refractory B cell lymphoma. And here I'm going to share our first pivotal phase two result, most of the two smart in real life refractory follicular lymphoma with two prior lines of therapy at least. This is a single arm pivotal phase two expansion. Key inclusion criteria include patients with follicular lymphoma, grades one to three A, ECOG performance status zero to one, Patient needs to have at least two prior lines of therapy, must include at least one anti-CD20 monoclonal antibody treatment and one alkylating agent. Both on the two smart is given intravenously every three weeks, except during cycle one, a step up dosing is used to mitigate cytokine release syndrome. Uh, that is, day one is one milligram, day eight, two milligram, day 15 is target dose, no 60 milligram. From cycle two and on is one dose every, every three weeks each cycle. It's given in fixed duration treatment, meaning in patients who achieve CR, they complete eight cycles of treatment. In patients with partial response or stable disease, they will complete up to 17 cycles. The primary endpoint is best re uh, complete response rate by independent review facility in comparison to a 14% historical CR rate. Secondary endpoint including overall response rate, durational response, progression-free survival, safety, and tolerability. And here are the summary of the baseline characteristics of the 90 patients treated in the study. Median age range from 60 years, uh, median age 60 years old, range from 29 to 90 years old. Median number of prior therapy is three, ranging from two to 10. 21% patients have prior autologous stem cell transplant. 53% uh, patients had double refractory disease. And PAR24 is in 52% of patients. So you can see that most of patients treated on the study have advanced stage disease, heavily pretreated. They also have characteristics commonly associated with poor prognosis. And looking at the response rate, the complete response rate is 60%. Overall response rate is 80%. So the primary endpoint of the study is met. The 60% complete response rate is significantly higher than the 14% historical control complete response rate. And the waterfall plot indicates that nearly all patients derived tumor reduction by size measurement. Comparing response rates in patients with different risk factors, including age, number of prior therapies, real life refractory to last prior lines of therapy, as well as patient with double refractoriness or patient with PAR24, we found comparable response rate among all these groups. The duration of response in responder is 22.8 months. The median time to first response is 1.4 months. The median time to first CR is three months. Median progression free survival is 17.9 months. Most of the two smart treatment has a very manageable safety profile. With AE leading to discontinuation in only 4.4% of patients, among them 2.2% attributed to most of the two smart use. Second release syndrome were predominantly grade one to two, only one patient at grade three, one at grade four, and mo most second release syndrome occur in cycle one and all events resolved. To conclude, this is a pivotal phase two study of most under two SMAP, a CD20, CD3 by specific T cell engagement antibody. The study met its primary endpoint with CR rate 60%, overall response rate 80%. We have seen deep and durable responses achieved in heavily pretreated, high-risk, lab refractory follicular lymphoma patients with fixed duration treatment. We also observe very favorable tolerability profile with most second release syndrome confined to cycle one and were low grade. Treatment administration is without mandatory hospitalization. This is the first T cell engagement by specific antibody to demonstrate clinically meaningful outcomes 
for patients with relapse refractory flagrant lymphoma in a pivotal phase two setting. Both on the two smart bond therapy is potentially a promising of the shelf outpatient therapy. I'd like to thank all the patients, their family for participating in the study, the study investigators, coordinators, and nurses for conducting the study, and all the sponsors, Genome Tab, for sponsoring the trial. Thank you for your attention.